my improvised studio come everything. For me, music and art, I couldn't separate. As a painting has certain disciplines, so does music have certain disciplines. But I think, chuck the disciplines out the window and then you make music, and then you make art. I was looking out the window the other day, I was noticing like the, 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 the way the landscape falls. And they're not really about landscape, they're about what they are. They end up being it. It's what it is, and that's the thing itself. Not a painting, this object. I don't know what it will be like yet, it's sort of in its early stages, but what it ends up as will be an it. I've been doing a lot of, like, like that, like building the surfaces with different sort of material besides canvas and overlaying and sort of then burying images under the paint so really there's many paintings under one painting as a surface if it's called painting uh, they're a bit like archaeology really I bury stuff, find stuff, dig it out, bury it again and end up with an it <laughs> there's a lot of hybrids which have sort of come out of it you know little things which you at the moment are very important, you know, more sculptural and heavier. Not at all like paintings. <laughs> I don't know what they are really. I think danger plays a big part in pushing things forward, you know. You've got to be a bit dangerous, you know, to make things happen. But not in like a dangerous physical way, more in a pushing the boundaries a little bit, wherever you think you can. I like dangerous in that case. That's good. I'm not one of those people who could just what, paint the same head every day or the same bowl of cherries or whatever. I want to know what the dinosaur tastes like or go around the corner sideways, you know, I mean. I like that. I like dangerous. <laughs> yeah, bring on the danger. <laughs> This way, sir. This is uh, my outside um, mucking about place, which is good. I can make a mess in here. Well, I started off with one and enjoyed it because it was sort of a lead on from what I was doing, sort of bricklaying again. When you get up close, you can really see the texture, the pigment, and the surface quality and things, not being flat and not really depicting anything other than it is like a sound or musical. Or... So I thought, well, red's great because that's really emotive and powerful. So I did the red one first and really enjoyed that. So then I did the yellow one <laughs> and enjoyed that. <laughs> so I thought, well, we might as well go for the three primaries and do the blue one. So that's me blues, man. <laughs> Sometimes you get it right first time, you know? And it doesn't necessarily say it's taken weeks or months. Sometimes you can just get it right, you know, 10 minute tip, boom, job done. And then another time, oh God, <laughs> it sort of goes out, you know, every time you walk past, you, you know, there's something instinctive about knowing when you've got something right. And something tells you when it's not right as well. And if it's not right for me, I, I can't let it go. Probably a bit of grease. Painting isn't just about, you know, there's an object on a wall and you look at it and that's it. These are about, you look at it, but there's something else. Which for me, that's what art is about. Not just seeing a thing for once and that's it, but looking and every time you look, you can see something else. I can't see that at all. It's only when I walk past as I can see it, you think, oh, that's different. I think I've got about 10 of those different ones. Some with frilly frames. <laughs> like anything, you see, once I've done something like that, I want to do something the opposite. Because <laughs> that just happens to be my nature, you know, if you do something black, do something white. When I look out of my window, I've got a landscape and I can see quite far the distant hills and the calm behind me. But when the mist comes down, 
it's it's quite incredible really because my whole landscape surrounding this building changes and if the sun comes out at the same time as when the mist's going or the wind the color changes again you get pinks and oranges and blues and but they're very light and i suppose this is about cornish mist <laughs> things happen nice accidents which are you know accidents can be good you know not an accident where you break your arm but it, a sort of creative accident, you know, the way the paint runs or it splodges or... Splodges are good, really, isn't it? I like splodge. That's the colour of the way it splodges or... It's necessary to do all those things to, in order to keep moving forward. It's to find out the stuff that you use, different ways of using it. It's a totally selfish act for me. It's very important. It's like breathing and eating making love and everything else, you know, you, it's a human need. That's it. <laughs>